Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Pearson Chi-Square test of independence using R or specifically R Studio. Um, I'm going to do that by using an example, so I first need my data example which I've stored in this file as a comma separated file. It uses a semicolon as a separator and it has some missing values so I want those to actually be treated as missing values. So to load this whole thing in, press Ctrl Enter so it actually gets parsed to the console and executed. The test itself uh, is pretty straightforward, it doesn't require any packages. Uh, you select the two variables on which you want to perform the test on. And I said correct is false because otherwise it actually adds a Yates correction. And um, yeah, I want to perform the basic Pearson chi-square test so without any corrections. If you do want that correction, just set it to true. Again, I press Ctrl Enter, and in the output or in the console, I can now see that the chi-square test was actually performed between these two variables. The chi-squared value is 16.99. It has four degrees of uh, freedom, and the significance is below 0.05, so that would indicate a, a significant association between gender and marital. Now, in some cases, it's important that if you have uh, very low uh, frequencies in certain cells, that the test uh, will become slightly less reliable. And often the count, uh, expected counts less than five are important. So those are actually, the expected counts are actually in the output. So I'll, I'll store them myself in the E values for expected values. And you can see them by pressing the print. And as you can see in this case, none of them are below 5, but okay. Um, sometimes you want to report how many there are below 5. In this case, that's a 0. So by and below, I store that amount and length of which in that expected value is less than 5. Uh, the total number of cells is 10, and as a proportion, you can then divide the two. Another criteria is sometimes the minimum expected count which in this case was 35. Prepared one other quick example, exactly the same, it's just different data. Um, here we go. And running the chi-square test on this one actually gives me a warning that uh, it may be uh, not a good ap approximation because of uh, these expected values. If we look at the expected values in this second example, then as you can see there are quite a lot that are actually below 5. And indeed, there are, in this case, there are, let's see, 13 below 5. And out of a total of 15, which would be about 87%. So that's how you can perform a Pearson chi-square test using R. 